Hey, what's going on, nerds? Uh, Retro Renema here. Um, I got a package from Umbrella Entertainment. I bought my first lot from there. Um, I know I, I talk about how much I love them and they are awesome, but I never actually purchased anything from the actual, um, from their website. I always get it from JB Hi-Fi if I'm lucky enough to find it from an op shop or something like that. But um, I actually bought some stuff. I was talking to a fellow Instagrammer and we were talking about Umbrella release movies and yeah, he pretty much convinced me to buy these. So, um, got five titles here. There are six in the series and once you see the first one, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but I only got, they only had five out of the six that are available. So, I'm just putting them in a good order. Okay, so the first one is the two disc special edition or two disc, um, what's it called edition? What do they call these? Beyond Genres. Now, while I quickly try and get it in frame, it's not the best setup, but hey, you get that on the big job. There we go. Um, yeah, this is the Beyond Genres collection. Now, um, they only released six movies, all six volumes in this series, uh, and I believe it's now been debunked or they're just not doing it anymore. So, um, the, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know much of information about it, but I've always seen these editions and thought, oh, I'm gonna, gotta pick these up one day, but I just never got around to it. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed in the way it was packaged. As you saw, it was just in a bubble mailer. So, um, yeah, not, not very happy because one of the cases was crushed and the disc came loose inside the um, Blu-ray case. I'll show you which one it was. But the first one anyway, Reanimator. This is the two disc collector's edition. Um, I've never seen it. I know it's amazing. It's Lovecraftian, so it's gonna be awesome. But yeah, it's got Jeffrey Combs, or Coombs, however you wanna pronounce it. Um, he's awesome. I really love his stuff. I've been watching a lot of his stuff, not realizing who he was until now. So um, Beyond is one of my favorites. So, or the, from Beyond or just Beyond. Um, yeah, Reanimator up there. Uh, volume 2, Bride of and Beyond Reanimator, so the two sequels. Um, I hear they're alright, I hear the second one's good, and they, even the Beyond Reanimator, I hear that one's pretty good, even though it was made quite a ways later, um, uh, well, quite, a years, quite a few years after the first one anyway. Uh, they all have the slipcase, which is good, um, unfortunately not all of them, but I got them really cheap. They're actually, most of them are only about 20 bucks or 25 bucks. So they're normally 40 bucks. So I was pretty happy to get them for that 25 bucks. And free shipping too. So, um, what's in my calls? Umbrella do free shipping on all orders. So in Australia at least, which is awesome. So um, two discs on that, which is great. So they're on their own disc. Uh, this one is what, Foam 3, Dagon. This one is the one that uh, unfortunately was crushed so I had luckily I had a spare generic blu-ray case it's not an official blu-ray case but it's good enough uh, it doesn't have the slip case which you know a bit shattered about but you know you get that on the big job uh, but I watched this one this was fantastic it was really cool um, there's a couple of cheesy scenes in terms of uh, CGI and stuff like that um, I don't know the year that it came out I think it was I originally thought it was like 80s or something, but I believe it was about 2000, and 2000 2001, something like that. Um, but there's a couple of cool scenes. There was one scene in particular that was really cool. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but it involved um, someone's face getting ripped off. But <laughs> uh, it was it, it was really cool. It was uh, pretty predictable, but very very cool. I, I had a, a good time with this one, and it's certainly one I'd revisit in the future. Um, you know, maybe check out the special features. There's a little making of featurette. That's about all that's on there. So yeah, one day I'll check it out. But it was a good film, I liked it. Uh, volume four, another copy of Razorback. <laughs> um, I'm a bit shattered this one doesn't have the slipcover because I fucking love this movie. This movie is, it's one of my all time favorites. Uh, it's an, it's an Aussie film. I was just thinking, is it an Ausploitation? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, but it's great. It is so good. I've got this originally. I had the Umbrella release on DVD. Um, and then I just got the Umbrella 
release on Blu-ray in my last lot. And now I got this Beyond Genres one. So I've triple dipped on this film. Um, but it's so good. It's a, such a good movie. I had such a good time with this. The creature effects are amazing. These uh, shifty characters up here, they're fucked, mate. They're, <laughs> they're fucking so cooked. But it's a good film. I really like it. Um, definitely one to check out if you've never seen it. It's essentially just about a, a Razorback, which is you know a giant warthog um, pig with tusks. Uh, and he's fucking huge. And he's just going out. Um, just murdering cunts. So, yeah, that's a really good film. You should check it out. I'll probably keep this one sealed um, because I've got the other version I'll open up. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll open that one up and keep the other one sealed. Who knows? Uh, I'm missing volume five. Uh, I know that it's still available out there, but they was it was out of print. or Sorry, it was out of stock on the site, so I couldn't order it. But I know... I can get it online, I can get it through JB Hi-Fi, it's fine. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's one that I'm not overly in a rush to get anyway. So I got volume six um, as well from the uh, from the order, and it was it is The Quiet Earth. Um, this is great. Uh, got the DVD not too long ago. So in fact, it was like maybe the last pickup, I can't remember, I think, yeah, the last big pickup, one that I did with all those sort of rando science fiction DVDs. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's essentially, uh, I have seen bits and pieces of this movie. I haven't seen it in full. I don't know why I didn't watch it in full. But just this guy, he um, does an experiment which ends up making him the last person on Earth, or so he thinks. So the first half is just him dealing with uh, potentially being the only person on the planet until he comes across these two people and then, you know, love triangle effects and all that sort of bullshit uh yeah and the ending is awesome <laughs> i have seen the end but i haven't seen the full sort of fleshed out movie of it so um keen to check that one out yeah that's uh that's that <laughs> um that's the see how they it's funny because you know i'm not a slipcover kind of guy I've said this plenty of time. I don't really care about slip covers, but when they're on the shelf like that, and they some of them have slip covers and some don't, it just gets a little bit annoying. See this, yeah. But yeah, whatever. The slip covers are just the same as the front anyway. So, and they are reversible sleeves as well. They just the um the slips just get rid of this when you reverse it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Nah, but yeah, they just get rid of the the rating system. So, but that's cool. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of those if you've seen any of these films. Uh, I can't wait to check out Reanimator. I just haven't had a chance yet. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, 